Sagittarius, welcome. We are going to do a re general read for you for September 21st to the 27th. General read. It's not going to resonate with everybody, and if it doesn't, that's okay. Either way, we're going to look at your current energies, your desires, the outcome, things that are working for you, things you need to be, oh, you may need to be aware of. So that said, Sagittarius, let's get started. In your current energy, we have the Eight of Swords. Somebody that's feeling a little indecisive and stuck in their decision making. We have the Hermit. Dun, 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 dun. Somebody that's got to go in and sort of figure out the path that they want to follow. And then we have this Page of Swords. Um, this Page of Swords is in your outcome. And... I see this as somebody that's kind of waiting uh, on information as to what to do and the path that they want to choose. What's working for you is the King of Pentacles. What you need to be aware of is the Page of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles is somebody that knows what they're doing with money, finances, that type of thing. Um, but the Page of Pentacles is you got to be aware of some good news that's coming in. Um, one, of, But uh, we'll go through and clarify this. One of the things that I'd always uh, thought of, it's only a good deal if it's something you need. Um, anyway, uh, let's go through this. Let's figure out what this indecision is about. Five of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Or sorry, Four of Pentacles. So... You're feeling stuck because you're looking back. You're feeling disappointed on actions you haven't taken. And you're worried uh, to lose out on a few things. Or you're really, really focused on money. There's a big fear of loss. And you know what? I get that. Uh, there's that fear that, you know, there's disappointment and fear that you could be losing things. Uh, even though you're trying to take action, uh, any type of action... Uh, it just, it even could be just an overwhelming bit of, uh, that you're feeling about this. Uh, let's go into the Hermit. Four of Wands. Four of Cups and Eight of Wands. You're trying to figure out your path. You're trying to figure out what to do. Uh, I can see that you really want this stability, but you're really unsure which direction to take with this uh, you're going to have some communication that's coming in uh, in this week uh, you're hoping for that communication uh, to clear up sort of this a little bit of fear and, and disappointment now let's clarify this page of swords which is the outcome so this information or or communication that's coming in let's figure out what this is going to be Ooh, we have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So this communication uh, is going to be around uh, how things are going to change for you. It could be a possible partnership um, where things may seem uh, a little unfair. That said, uh, we have the ace, and the ace is a new start. Uh, I look at this kind of thing, and it's kind of this ace of wands card, and I look at this going, you know what, that's a pretty nice, that's a pretty nice thing. To me, that's, it's like the magic stick, just kind of point and shoot uh, for what you want. Now let's look at this king of pentacles. So somebody's looking back at the past to figure out how that they made money in the past. How did they make that success happen? Uh, why didn't it happen? And what am I supposed to do about it now so that I can have more of it in the future? Now, that's what's working for you because you're able to look back and go, hey, you know what? This is what I did. This is what worked for me in the past, but will it work for me in the future uh, or now? So let's look at the Page of Pentacles. Strength card, Three of Wands, 
and the Queen of Pentacles. So I see this as this Page of Wands is this good, or sorry, Page of Pentacles is financial good news. Um, but you're going to need to have uh, some courage in order to step on your path to start to create that uh, self-reliance, that self-fulfilling um, prophecy of, of your own money bringing you into stability. You're not sure about the communication that's coming in regarding about the past uh, and the money and the choices that you've made before. I want to pull three more cards for you to figure out what else we need to be aware of for you, Sagittarius. Ooh. There's going to be a moment. There's going to be a moment where you realize that your hopes and dreams are going to come true. And I see that because we have the Tower, we have the Nine of Cups, and we have the Chariot. And so I see this as there's, there's a moment where you're going to actually sit down and realize that, you know what, things are working out for you, and they're working out for you quicker than normal. Uh, you're going to need to buckle up and hold on for this ride. You may not be completely ready for it because of what's going on in here. It may create a little bit of chaos and emotion for you where you're like, geez, I was not ready for this. Um, that's what I have for you uh, today, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here, and we will see you next time.